one thing that a lot of people underestimate is the contribution of your lifestyle to your like, goals and your ambition. different states we're doing new york we're doing houston and um, we potentially will be doing dc and dallas so the whole point of this is really to drive awareness for the brand and one of the important things i knew i had to do was just go out more talk to more people like just basically get out there Today, bringing me closer to my goals of networking, meeting more people, getting the word about the Lady Biba brand, I went to the Female Founder Collective event and it was so, so, so good. So there we had um, Alice Wyatt. Alice Wyatt is the founder of Female Founder Collective. So Female Founder Collective basically is an um, organization for women female founder specifically so today's event was basically about like getting your products to retail so just wholesale strategies and things like that and trust me like i needed to be there things are moving and i'm so 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 glad that um i got to attend this event and the space was so so pretty like it's the prettiest space i just i, I was even considering like paying for like a month but because i'm going to be going to texas for like a while i don't know if i'm going to do that but it's like such a pretty space even for like content creation and stuff like i really liked it there so yeah that that's my today's thursday today's thursday um we're getting closer to the event and i'm like i think i'm getting more excited as before like if you watched my previous video and if you haven't please check it out that video is full of like anxiety i feel like i'm getting like the excitement like right now like i am pumped and i looked really nice everyone kept like complimenting my outfits by the way like like do you know how many times people just came up to me to just compliment what I was wearing? Um, okay, you can't see my full outfit, but I probably would have posted a picture on Instagram by the time you see this video. Um, my Instagram handle is the same as my YouTube channel name, so you can check me out on Instagram. And I'll, I'll also be sharing like highlights of the event on my Instagram as well. Um, yeah, so this is random, but I got some stuff from Amazon, so I think I'm going to just do an unboxing. Um, I, so one hack that I found, like if you're part of like the itty bitty community, meaning that you're not really like really just it, you can actually use regular like under wire bra um underwire free bra to work out so i only brought one sports bra which is annoying because i have so many sports bras in lagos i only brought one and i bought this on amazon and guys like one on a normal day like one sports bra is about like 30 bucks 25 to 30 bucks on average and these ones were like the whole pack i think was like less than 10 dollars Although I did get like, I don't know, I think I got the Prime Day deal. Um, so 
apparently this is like a really good deal of the skin's bodysuit so i will try it on later so it has like a square what i like about it is just this square neckline so i love basic stuff that you can like style up and down and the reason i bought this one is because i have like brown leather pants that i want to wear with this and maybe i'll wear it on you know what let me do a try on Looking forward to seeing you. Excuse me. I think I'm going to go back and buy more colors because you know this is my Roman Empire. But guess what? This thing snatched it all the freaking way. The vendor, what's the name of the vendor? It's Quincy. Like look at it. So just search this brand on Amazon. Cause I'm about to buy like different colors of this. This is a bodysuit. I think I'm I'm going to do a crop top version of because I saw the crop top version. But like I love this neckline so much. It's so flattering. Already like a look. And then I'm wearing like these cargo leather pants. Let me see if I can show you guys if you love you of the pants these pants are the business and it's a bit big for me at the back but that's fine so patient with me with my vlogs they are a work in progress I'm going to be trying things I'm not going to like limit myself to any like specific type of content. I think the main content is always going to be about like my journey, brand building, but I will also like show you lifestyle. For instance, I love to cook. I love everything about everything about health and wellness. Like I work out, like I try to live like a decent like life and I think that also like is important as a founder because I think one thing that a lot of people underestimate is the contribution of your lifestyle to your like goals and your ambition because i find that I, I mean if you watch the other vlog like i was so down and then i worked out and that workout was like a pick me up so there's like other aspects of like my lifestyle that helped me become a better entrepreneur so i will try to show you guys like my like i like to cook i love to cook and i think i'm a pretty good cook and I love to eat like good food so I will, tr I will see if I can like introduce that to this vlog and you know I'm just going to try a couple of things if it works it works if it doesn't work then my pizza just came worth like investing in like good quality ones but like if you just want like variety i'm trying to like this is a good one and it's actually the hold is actually like much like better than i thought like it's more sturdy see i mean if you were maybe fuller chested it probably I don't know, like maybe a little fuller chest than me will be fine, but like for like medium, small, I think that this works. I'll be able to like work out without like any issues. So it's a good buy. And for under, let me just be sure about like how much it costs. Um, let me open Amazon. Oh, it was $13.94 for three still a good deal i thought it was under 10 bucks but like still a really good deal i'm using this to talk myself into creating the content i do hope that i do i'm going to 
go work out now and like guys it means i have to wear makeup okay um i just packed off my stuff so this time i'm going to be shooting outside like i originally planned i have like the this is the phone tripod and then the camera tripod let me just show you the bag so i have like three shoes because we're doing three looks and then like three bag options as well as well as like change of clothes and other accessories packed up so i'm going to be going i'm going to be going outside i already know the location that i'm trying to film at so let's go make this content so i'm outside now and here are like my tools tripod this is a tripod for this camera which i'm going to just place and then the tripod for the phone is over there so i'm just going to place you guys somewhere where you can sort of see my bts so now I'm going to start filming the looks I hope that they come out as well so this is look two I'm honestly not feeling good so far so I think I'm going to call it a day yesterday night I was just trying to figure out why didn't this content work and I spoke to my sister she's also a creative and she works in marketing so she gave me a few tips that i need to be implementing today and she also like let me on cap cut like i've always known cap cuts but am i the only one that did not know that cap cut comes with templates this might as well be a cap cut cap cut sponsored video you know but like it actually comes with pre-made templates i've always used like I've used InShot, I've used iMovie and Final Cut Pro to like edit my videos. I, I usually edit videos from scratch. But it was so interesting to see that CapCut has like pre-made templates. So it's also like helping me to sort of like know the type of like angle and like the type of shots that I should be taking. So that's on one end. And then on the second end, it's just me getting used to the idea of being the subject of focus because um i'm so like used to being behind the cameras and i need to be more patient with myself and sort of just practice like creating like video content for instance i'm more comfortable with being on camera on youtube like talking to you guys like this because it's something I've done and I've done over and over again. I remember like my first set of videos for YouTube, the ones that I never posted, they, they were so terrible. And even like the first set of videos that I eventually did. Like, So what I'm just trying to say in essence is I need to be a little more patient with myself and just get used to the idea of like being in front of the camera, like is my way into it. There's no rush. I mean, I was trying to create content for the New York pop-up, but at this point, I think, like, I'm just going to give myself grace. Like, if I want to create good quality content, it can't be on, like, such a short timeline. I mean, if I'm able to create, like, a really nice, because my goal is to do, like, this train station content, because nothing says New York like the subway. So I'm trying to do something there, but even if i don't do it like i think i just got into the point where i'm in learning mode and i'm in practice mode and that's okay
So let's cook a potato chicken veggie mix, pottage, casserole, whatever you call it. So I'm just cleaning, scraping my carrots and then putting it in a bowl to wash. I like to wash, wash my veggies with baking soda because it takes out like all the pesticides and stuff from planting and harmful chemicals so right here i'm just chopping my um, green veggies and that's the potato i'm chopping dicing the potato now and the green peppers into i'm just doing this in no particular manner i just like to dice it into like chunky pieces and that's the orange bell peppers that i'm chopping now now i'm dicing the carrots and now i'm dicing the spring onions i love spring onions i'm dicing them into small pieces and then the remaining ones i'm going to cut into longer pieces so in case i didn't mention i'm actually making two recipes from the veggies that i'm cutting i'm making a potato chicken and veggie pottage and i'm also making a chinese stir fried sauce so these are all my ingredients laid out first thing i do is pour olive oil into the hot pot and then i put my chicken in and then i add all my seasoning into the chicken and the reason i do this as a taste to first by saying it is because i want the chicken to retain a lot of the flavor so after cooking all the ingredients in, I'm going to put in the carrot and then the veggies in and stir fry and let the picture for a little while. When it's stirred, I pick it up the pan and then I put the potatoes in the pan and then I add more seasoning by going with the curry. So I like I have a little curry in the kitchen, I can use my different and I can use my And then I put in more um, seasoning, I can use my more whatever I can use in my food. It looks like it's a little bit of food, it's not much. And then I put in that onion powder, I put that in as well for flavor. So while that's cooking, I chopped the chicken, the, the boneless chicken for the sauce. So one thing I did, so in this boneless chicken, we have just the salt, the baking powder, I mean baking soda, not baking powder, and just a little seasoning. And then I stir all up and then I go back so now for the sauce for the chinese chicken stir fry i have the water soy sauce that's oyster sauce and cornstarch or corn flour they're the same thing so i just stir that all up you put as much cornstarch as you want for the thickness the cornstarch is really for the th thickness of the sauce and then this is um the red wine cooking so um red cooking wine so i just put like a small dash and then i go back to my potatoes now i add that chicken that we took out before because the potatoes are almost cooked and i let that simmer for a bit so notice that the chicken there has the bone in it the one i'm using for the sauce does not have the bone so i go back in with the veggies now because we don't want them to be too soft so that's why we're doing it in stages at this time it's cooked and it's yummy so that's all for my blog thank you guys so much for watching